of my Building New Crest series, part one, from ideas to pixels, getting the bones right. Although I've built a new crest before, I tend to build in more traditional styles. This project was a creative exercise for me, and I hope you'll enjoy watching the very condensed version of the build. I've been watching the world's most extraordinary homes and was inspired to try a modern build with an industrial feel, especially after seeing the homes in Spain. If you watch the show, you might notice a few of the ideas I gathered up for this build. Let me introduce my client. Rico Pimental is a world-renowned archaeologist, originally from Selva de Rada, who purchased this lot in Newcrest because he spends so much of his time unearthing ancient artifacts a modern build was what he wanted. And after all his discoveries, he has the simoleons for a luxury home. As you can see, I used counterweights and a cantilever to support the massive structures off the ground. I wanted the indoor and outdoor spaces to be virtually indistinguishable from each other, to flow naturally from cooking indoors to rat relaxing by the natural pool. Since the views from Oracle Point Lot are fabulous, I wanted them to be accessible from every room. I used concrete as the primary building material. As you'll see later on in the main living area, I left the industrial support beams visible. Even though there is a mix of raw concrete, concrete blocks, and stone, I wanted the home to have an elegant feel. Rico is as much at home in the great museums and libraries as he is in the middle of the jungle and I tried to incorporate both of these elements in his family home. As you see here, the support um, in the front, and then there's a room behind it, and I went ahead and left that open. And now I'm working on the suspended swimming pool. I used the T supports out of concrete, and um, one of the things that I did was, you'll notice that the wall is not as tall as the windows. I wanted to give it a um, kind of the illusion of having a glass wall around part of it. So that's what I did. And it seems to work just fine um, with move objects on. So here I'm just kind of playing around, trying to get the right proportions for the wall. And you'll see the um, that... Uh, the raw concrete that I've used for the um, the supports, the counterweights. They're the two long counterweights there. The windows that I used are from Get Together, and I really like them. I've been looking forward to finding something that would work well. They're very large, um, kind of have a modern and almost an industrial, to me, industrial feel to them. Um, I wanted to also have some skylights because bringing in lighting is very important. And right here I have uh, used from the Get Famous on the half walls along the roof line, I've used the, the glass top, but that I found, I changed that later because it was too busy. Here um, you'll see I used the, the little fence uh, marking tape kind of just for me to give me an idea to mark off where I wanted and then took them out. And when you come approach the home, there's the pool, but yet I don't want anybody and everybody just swimming in this pool, so I used a glass fence. I've changed that a little bit later. This second floor area here above the main um, area is for uh, relaxation and pretty much for uh, Rico's archaeology studio that he'll have. There will be a sauna and a bathroom here and then a place for him to work and a deck off of there. There's very much the feeling um, of indoors and outdoors. I've been trying to incorporate that with every every floor, every place. And even though there aren't the huge windows off the back, on the side there will be. And this is going to open up down into the living area, the, the indoor living er room area. And I'll have that there. Um, all of the railings and banisters are in glass, uh, just lots of glass, metal, concrete, um, and natural materials blended with this very modern feel with, you'll see later on in the home tour, um, some very traditional furnishings as well. Um, this is uh, 
the main living area here. There's the nice staircase that goes upstairs. And then this right here is actually opened. It's a deck. And this is where you'll see later on, if it's not in this video, it'll be in the um, home tour video, where the industrial support bees. And you'll see that I have, this is from the Jungle Adventure, the concrete windows that go out to the front. Actually, to come into this home, it's kind of an interesting way. If you come in from the front, the main road, you actually go downstairs into a tunnel. So it's kind of reminiscent of entering um, an archaeological uh, dig. And then you come back up, as you'll see on the left of the screen, you'll come back up to the windows, up into the main living area. And then where the fan is, you'll see that that is going to be the kitchen. So it completely opens out into the outdoor living area. And you'll see the dining room opposite that with the windows and the illusion that the doors are open. There's a little mud room off to the left. And um, to the right, the small structure on the right is the pool room. And uh, it's also another uh, way to access the family living area. So I'm using, um, wanted to give it that modern sense, kind of a retro feel, um, very, even though it's industrial, I wanted an organic feel to it as well. And um, here I've gone with, um, I've incorporated quite a few things from Spa Day as well because they have the nice uh, concrete and blocks. And I've really been wanting to use this. This is from Spa Day. This but I couldn't, I couldn't size it down to fit anywhere. So someday I will be able to use that. And this is the, the kitchen area that I'm showing you here. Just a glimpse of how it's completely open on two and a half sides. And when we do the home tour, you'll see, as I'm, um, I'm using the perfect patio, a stone um, counters and the bar area. So there are actually two separate areas in the kitchen. You have this big bar with the grill. So just really wanting that indoor outdoor sense. Um, and then outdoor just just to kind of flow going inside outside for lots of entertaining. Um, Vico and um, Julissa really really enjoy entertaining. She has a large family who's from Selva Dorada. So they have people over all the time and um, just create that very welcoming sense. And here they are, here are the steel beams, which is kind of fun. That is from the Get to Work pack. And I'm just putting them in. Uh, and those, uh, the pillars are from Get Together. They're concrete pillars. I really like those. This is my first time using them. And so you'll see, here's kind of a top down view. So you'll see open all the way up to the sky. There are some covered areas when it's inclement weather because it does rain quite a bit in Newcrest. And um, so there are, are kind of sheltered areas, and but a lot of it is uh, outside. And here's the kitchen, just open, spacious, a place to work. I used um, metal flooring, giving it that industrial feel. Uh, they're a very active family. So you have the climbing wall outside, and then uh, just indoors from that is the is their home gym and inspired by I I can't remember there might have been some Sims homes I've seen and also um, a lot of the things from the modern builds I've been watching um, I put just a whole wall of windows because that is just a gorgeous view to have let's in the natural light and it's going to be very airy uh, went with white and gray colors um, to keep it clean, even though there's quite a bit of, of uh, there are a lot of things going on here. And when you see the video, I've, I changed the interior a bit. So here's the complete, complete wall looking over that little inlet there. And then uh, this is going to be the skylight over most of it, or most of the uh, opens up completely from that third floor all the way down. And then there's a little bit of a deck area. Um, just giving them lots of lots of choices of where they spaces that they want to use. And if it's too cold and rainy, they can just be more in the indoor sheltered area. And then for the other times, they can have a nice choice of inside and outside. And that pool is great. You wake up. Um, I was just thinking of the TV show I was watching. You wake up and just say, oh, I think I'm going to go for a morning swim. 
<laughs> do a few laps in my lap pool. Uh, and I think that just is, um, I think that would be really fun to have in real life. So here's the, just working on the roof here. And you can see I incorporated the awnings from Savo Darava from the, the Jungle Adventure Pack down down there. Uh, and you'll, you'll see some of the things that I have. And the plants, all the plants, I think all of the plants they have are potted plants. Um, container, so it's a rock garden with uh, different trees and, and different kinds of things there. Um, and this is Rico's little private deck that he has here. You can just kind of uh, gets tired from working. And then this is in the backyard. Um, this is an idea. This is the fire pit outside. It's kind of like a fireplace outside with the with the hood vent that goes all the way up, and where you can just sit. And if you've gone fishing, you can roast some fish, roast marshmallows, tofu dogs, hot dogs, whatever you'd like. And there's a small garden area. I see off to the left here. Um, I did end up changing, I'm pretty sure I changed the flank stone pavers. I just didn't care for the way that looked. It didn't It didn't seem to fit. But here I'm trying to texture the, the um, around the fire pit. And then I created the pool, turned it into more, look like a natural springs pool with, uh, you'll see the um, fountain. And here is the little tour, it's at night when I finish this. So I'll just show you from the back. And um, that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, watching this, and look for the home tour after Nico and his family have, me live, have lived here for a while. So thanks for watching A Modern Build Part 1 Ideas to Pixels. And I hope you'll join me for my next video, Part 2 Home Tour. Thank you so much for watching. Have a simtastic day. And if you do, give me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. So, dag dag!